How often should I reboot my computer? Well, sometimes it's required and sometimes it's just a good idea. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure and hit the like button towards the end to let everybody know that this video is valuable to you. It helps other people and me find what they're looking for on YouTube. Here's a question. I have Windows 10. I leave my computer on all the time. How often should I reboot my computer or does it really matter? So here's the thing. It shouldn't matter. It really shouldn't matter. Computers should be able to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all year long without a problem. And yet, sometimes it matters. And sometimes the point is actually quite moot. Let's look at that. So the way I put it is the rule is there is no rule. It really depends heavily on what you're using your computer for, how you use it. For example, if you spend your entire day just running one program, like say your web browser, then yeah, there's no reason to ever reboot the computer. You might want to restart the web browser every once in a while, but as far as the computer itself is concerned, eh, there's no need. On the other hand, if say you're like me and you're running lots and lots and lots of different applications, all the time, closing things, opening things, there are high powered applications, whatever, then you're gonna to wanna to reboot every once in a while. But even there, I can't get very specific because it still depends on all those different programs that you're running and how you're running them. In my experience, what I find is that eventually the machine starts to get, I'll just say pokey <laughs> or starts to misbehave in a very odd way. Things that I don't expect, things that you wouldn't think would be related to the system, still somehow manifest as things just not being quite right. When that happens, one of the things I do is reboot. 99 times out of 100, whatever it was that was bugging me is long gone. It just resolves the issue for me. It really is my go-to solution for a lot of odd behavior. Now, with those two scenarios out of the way, in other words, reboot when you feel you should and don't reboot at all, there is another scenario and that honestly makes a lot of these situations moot. Reboot when you're asked. When you install software, it's not uncommon for it to say, yeah, we need to reboot to finish the installation. You don't have to reboot right away unless you plan to use that software right away, but you do want to reboot soon. And of course, the other scenario where you'll get rebooted whether you want to or not is Windows Update. Windows Update will require a reboot at some point. You may be able to postpone it. You may be able to schedule it. But one way or another, Windows Update will, in all likelihood, reboot your machine for you. Again, that kind of sort of renders this entire discussion moot. Once a month, you're probably going to end up getting rebooted anyway. With that out of the way, the real rule of thumb is reboot when you need to. Um, you may not need to, but if something comes up and it kind of sort of feels like you should, or it might help, or you're being asked to, that's when you reboot. I hope that was helpful. I know it's not very uh, on point. It's not giving you rules to follow, but like I said, there aren't really any rules here. It's more a matter of experience and understanding when a reboot might be required, or at least be helpful. For related links to this article, for comments, for updates and more, visit askleo.com slash 129288. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.